What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. I got a really good one today. I have the Steam Deck OLED now. I didn't think I was going to go ahead and move to the OLED, but I got a lot of comments asking me, hey, have you checked this out? What do you think? Things like that. So I definitely wanted to check it out and bring it to you guys. And so thank you so much for the comments and the feedback. And so I have the Steam Deck OLED. We're gonna get into it. a bunch of things that I think is useful and also help you get started uh, into the Linux version of the Steam Deck if you've never done that before. Talk about upgrade, is it worth it? Those types of things. Get all into all kinds of stuff into this video, so stay tuned and thank you for locking in. And if you've never tuned in to DJ Martini Midwest Reviews, just know I love to do reviews. If I can help one person figure out some things or get you in the right place, uh, then you know I'm doing my job and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I just want to help, you know, do all that research for you so you don't have to give it to you as easy as possible and then leave some links in case you're interested uh, looking at some of the products that we talk about. So thank you so much. Please join the Martini Nation because we are steadily growing. We're building a great community of people that just, you know, uh, learn about some things, check out some items, total positivity and great feedbacks and comments. So thank you so much. Join the Martini Nation, like, subscribe and share. And let's get into the video on Steam Deck because I know you want to get there. I do have the Steam Deck behind me right here. I'm going to kind of show you. I always start off with what is in the box. Uh, not a big change from if you've had the Steam Deck before, but I'm, I'm still going to kind of just go through it. I do have a video on the original Steam Deck, uh, so check that out on my channel too. Box right here. Not a, there's really nothing on the box uh, that really you'd even know it's a Steam Deck until you open it. It, it did come in you know a nice little uh, cover there has some instructions shows you really shiny pops out at you it does have a box in there that does have its, its charge cable right here and they did put some logos on the charge cable a usb type c and then the case when you pop it out it is sealed it will be sealed clipped I actually have that back here somewhere but not a big deal um, but it is sealed and clipped that you know you have a brand new product and checked out approved by steam and it has the nice case here never had the colors and stuff that popped out before a uh, nice case hard case so it will protect your item when you throw it into a backpack nice handle a uh, nice like luggage uh, strap that you can put on there it also has the white little zips on there which they didn't have before so just a little bit more detail in the product and and i just want to bring this out but i really think this is the way they wanted the steam deck to come out but i think they were kind of pressured by time frames before and they really wanted to push out a product on this new steam deck and so they kind of popped it out really fast and you know we got the product that we got which was fantastic it was a great item but i really think this is the fine uh refinements and touches that they wanted to uh, like a complete package uh, that they wanted to put out. So I think this is the final product that they really wanted the Steam Deck to come out as. And it's not the Steam Deck 2, but it is the refined uh, Steam Deck is how I'll put it. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. We'll take a quick look at it. Now I do have a screen protector. Just pop this out uh, from JE Tech. It did work good for me. It is, does say it's for the Steam Deck. So I'll put a link in there. It was really relatively inexpensive and I always tell people to protect your items. So it does have a screen protector and it does pretty much go to all the edges. So it's really good there. The only thing I will say, it is forgiving too because I actually put it on, it was a little bit off and I had to peel it back up and put it back on and there's no bubbles or anything. So it did come out really good and it was forgiving for me, uh, but you know, uh, once you put these down, usually they're not forgiving. So just to let you know, but it does, uh, I think it did have two. Yeah, it does have two in there. So I do have an extra, uh, but this one came out good. So we're good to go. When we're looking at the new one and I, I don't have my old one to compare because I did have to sell it to be able to upgrade to this one. And we're going to talk about that as well towards the end. Uh, but I did have to sell it and got a little bit of money to be able to buy this one, which is definitely in my opinion, we'll just say it right now it is an upgrade because everything I'm going to be talking about is a pro and I usually do pros and cons at the end of the video, but I can't because everything that they have improved, it is better. So this is the back. Everything is pretty much the same. They just added some refinements. Like I said, these uh, joysticks, they're not different, 
but uh, or they're not a different model or type, but they did change the profile and the texture. It's the same kind of sticks, but they just kind of changed the profile a little bit. And there is some texture on these that do make them feel really, really nice. Now, the only thing that I really noticed is the big orange power button definitely looks different. I did notice that they do have a little different charge light and it does kind of show you a couple different things. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Still have the volume and the 3.5 millimeter jack, which I'm happy they didn't get rid of. They did say that they kind of improved some of the, you know, haptics and things like that. I don't know if that, if I really feel that when I actually was playing some th different things, but I do notice that they did change a little bit of the colors of the buttons. Um, do tell me if they did change, I can't remember, but I feel like this top button is a little bit different than the original. So let me know in the comments if you think this is different. It does feel better in my opinion. Ah, I don't know if they changed it. I don't think they did, but it feels a little bit different to me. But other than that, that is really the big changes. There's not, uh, still has uh, the micro SD card on the bottom, USB uh, type C slot on the top. And that's about it. But the big thing that they did change is the screen. The screen is a 7.4 inch screen and it was a seven inch screen before. And it does have great colors and, and uh, great brightness. And so uh, looks fantastic in my opinion. Well, let's go ahead and get into the specs and then I'll fire this up before I go into a little bit more items. So I do, another, I do have another review on the original LCD model, so you can take a look at that. And I do have a couple of videos on how to you know, move some things around. And so if you have some issues with that, check those out. I'll try to put the links if I can remember. But let's talk about some of the specs because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk to in this. 2023 pros for the two-year released Steam Deck. So it has been out for two years, and it is this is the new OLED. It's not the Steam Deck 2, but it is an improved, refined uh, Steam Deck, and that's kind of what I'll put it at right now. So it does, according to Steam Deck, have the exact the exact same gaming performance, uh, but the OLED screen just makes it feel like a new ball game. So it is 12 by 800, and it goes from a 7.4 to a 7 inch screen. It is brighter. It's 30 grams lighter, which is not crazy, but it does feel lighter. Like it, it surprisingly feels a little bit lighter than the original. It does have the brightness of a thousand nits, which is great. It looks it looks great, and like I said, you can just tell the brightness through the colors as well. Um, so they do have that wide color gamma, and they nailed it. The colors look fantastic, especially especially with some of the things I downloaded to change the interface a little bit. Uh, there's like neon colors in it and they just look great. It, it's really, really cool. It does have the possibility of going up to 90 frames per second as well with some improvements there. That smaller screen in there, which is a little bit less bezel and those types of things, thickness, it, it, it gave them room to make some improvements on the inside, which included like a bigger battery. So if you get a bigger battery in there, you're going to get more battery life. They went from a 50 watt, from a 40 watt, and they were able to actually change the APU as well, which added some better performance with the battery uh, and everything going in there. So you get a little bit better performance with uh, power and heat. And so you do dissipate some heat with that as well. Um, I don't know if they actually changed the cooling in there as well, but uh, it definitely runs a little less hot than it did before. And you get that a full extra hour almost of battery life, according to some tests and videos that I watched. So very cool there. A little bit, the touch screen, it does feel better. And so I did notice that with the keyboard, the keyboard was a really pain in the butt on the Steam Deck for me prior on the original one. With the new OLED, yeah, man, it feels good. I don't have issues typing and I'll pop my keyboard up just so you can take a look at it because I actually changed it with the Steam Deck store and it looks fantastic and it really feels great. I'm mean, and I, I don't have any issues with it. Yeah, it's more responsive and it feels better is the bottom line. So let's talk about the prices on the Steam Decks now. You can get a 256 LCD, which is the original LCD actually that I had before uh, and it was $399, but I think I paid $549 for that before. So it definitely dramatically went down in price, but you're still getting that LCD model. Still a great, great, great price to start. So I'm not going to put any, if you want to start out with the LCD, I'm not going to tell you not to because it's still a great price point. The thing is I'll, I'll, we'll put a little added thing on maybe looking for a used one. 
at that same price and you can probably get a little bit more. So uh, then you go up to the 512, which is this model right here and is the 549. And the only reason I did the 512 is because one, the price point, and I know I can buy really great one terabyte micro SD cards for cheap prices these days. And I'll put some links in for those uh, from Silicon Power. I really like these cards and they've been working really good for me. Now, not everybody's having a great success with them, but for me so far, I'm really enjoying it and you can get them really, really inexpensive up to one terabyte. So that's my 512 OLED 549. For $649, $100 more, you can get a one terabyte OLED display with the anti-glare and a custom case. Now, nothing that really intrigued me uh, to go up a hundred dollars, like I said, I can get a micro SD card probably cheaper than that hundred dollars, uh, but it'd be nice to have it. So the big improvement for me would be not the anti-glare, but the uh, one terabyte. So if you want a little bit more memory within your device um, and you want to spend a hundred extra dollars, uh, go for it. So. Uh, the anti-glare, some people say it's okay. Um, it's definitely going to help you in different light levels and things like that, but it's not a super thing that I really needed in my life. So, uh, like I said, I think the 549-112 is a really good price point and a really good value right there. We're still talking about pros, in my opinion, and one thing I want to talk about is going from a Linux system like the Steam Deck is, going from the original that I had, if you had an original and you're upgrading to the OLED because it is an upgrade, it was really easy to do. So I wanna put that out there. And I, a lot of people don't say that and talk about that in their videos, but it only took me four hours, which is fantastic. It took me days of research. Um, and I'm not being crazy with that. It took me days of research to get my Steam Deck where it originally was at. So I was kinda hesitant to move from my original to the new one because I'm like, God, I'm going to have to go through all these videos again, watch videos on how to get this thing working again, get everything on there I want to get the download art and just do all kinds of stuff. And there's all kinds of programs that I'm going to talk about really quick and set you on the right track so you can get up and running really fast. And that's just the progress that Steam Deck has has done and all the community, the YouTube community out here that has done to get these Steam Decks launched and get people moving on them. So uh, it's been a long two years, but a lot of people have done some great videos and showing you how to get what you want done on the Steam Deck. And so that's fantastic. So now from you know a whole week maybe of researching, watching videos and doing all this kind of stuff so I could figure out how to get my Steam Deck where I wanted, I did it in four hours. I was so surprised. So that is definitely a positive now because there's just been a lot of things done a lot of people making great videos and those types of things to get you going on the Steam Deck. So that is down a number one positive in my opinion. I'm gonna get you there too here in just a second. Positive, label changes, color of the buttons, big orange power button. Does it have a WRGB uh, diode for changing so you know a little bit more with the charging? Uh, check that out in the instructions so you know. That does have a torque screws now instead of Phillips screws. Not a big difference, but that's kind of where all these devices are going with the torque screws. Better performance, like I said, with the Wi-Fi card because you are able to download stuff a lot faster, which is another improvement with that APU, and the battery life, and those types of things to get you things uploaded a little bit faster depending on your internet. But that will get you into games faster by downloading them faster. So that's an improvement as well. Now we're gonna go to cons, but before I do that real quick, let's just go ahead and fire it up. I just wanna give you a quick example. My camera's not gonna do it justice, uh, but you'll be able to just see fire up real quick. So I just hit the peg orange power button and we're going there and we'll be able to see my startup screen right here. I have a custom one that I downloaded from Steam Deck uh, with some of the points that I earned. Uh, make sure you get into that. If you uh, have an account, you can uh, get points for you know the purchases that you make and you get a lot so there's a lot of things you can download in their store and one is improved like download screen and so I have a pretty cool lightning one here uh, pretty cool fires up really good and like I said it doesn't really do my screen won't do it justice but just know it looks fantastic the, these neon colors just look great and it is a, like a shiny screen here nice and smooth 
there we go that was nice we're going to go ahead and go into the desktop mode we'll switch to the desktop mode but you can see those like neon colors it looks fantastic all right so now i can bring up my keyboard there we go so here's my keyboard and like i said it works really really good so like any little touch but it's always accurate and it always puts exactly what i want up there so i really like the added touch response on there also just show you shut down real quick you can do it on the bottom here go to shut down okay i was trying to do some updates but uh it shut down pretty cool but like i said i love those neon colors and i'm going to tell you how to get that if you want to check some of the plugins for it and get you started real quick now i'm going to put these in the cons because these are you know all the stuff that i just talked about were upgrades but some of the cons is you're going to have to do some research to get everything you want with the steam deck because it is a linux system it's not a windows system it's not a, a mac system it's linux so it's different a lot of people aren't familiar with it some people aren't but a lot of people aren't and so cons one con is if you have an lcd one and you're upgrading to the new oled you are going to have to sell it now prices are going to be going down for people trying to put a lot of lcd screen steam decks on the market especially like on ebay uh, i wish the company would actually kind of say hey sell back your used model to us we'll refurbish it and resell it get it back out there that would be really cool from the company too or give you so much money to go ahead and trade it back into the company and then you know they can give you an oled as a discounted price because you traded in the other one that would be a great program as well but there's going to be a lot of pushes on these lcd screen models but that's also good because now you can go if you want to get one of these lcd models you probably get it at a great price now you uh, go ahead and you know check that out on ebay or those types of things and i don't know if steam deck sells used models either but uh, that might be an option as well to take a look at uh, i know one x player does but you know check that out but there's going to be a lot of a lot of used lcd screen steam deck so that's going to give you some opportunity to buy them but at the same time if you're trying to sell one that's going to be bad because the price is going to go way down if you bought that great anti-glare uh big crazy model at 649 when they first came out and it's still an lcd screen you're only going to probably get half of that at the most around 300 dollars for it so I'm um, just putting that out there. But like I said, with the research that you're going to have to do, here are some places that you need to go to to get your Steam Deck up to where you want it. And the first one is I'm going to talk is Emu Deck. Definitely a place to go and a great video. I'm going to do a shout out to Retro Game Corps. Thanks a lot. You got me set up really, really fast watching that video. Emu Deck and it can get you Retro Arc and get you some of those um, emulation type stations for Nintendo, Sega, all that kind of stuff. And then you can be playing some of those games when you get some ROMs and all that kind of stuff. There's all kinds of videos on that. Retro Game Corps does a lot of those videos and they have great videos. So check out, look up Emu Deck, E-M-U-D-E-C-K. Look up that Retro Game Corps and you'll be able to get a great video to get you set up on how to get that going and up and running on your... Now when you get Emu Deck, it does other things now. It does stuff it didn't do before and you can also manage your cloud base. Uh, streaming app so you know netflix and all the stuff you can pick them all with emu deck and get art and all kinds of stuff now which you couldn't do before and a great youtube channel for that is the light the light den academy check that video out it was fantastic it helped me get all those ready to go and get going now another thing that i want to point out is another program that gave me the cool graphics that you saw when I, when I got that from the Steam store, but the uh, backgrounds and everything for my uh, Steam Deck is Decky Loader. And that's a really cool program that can give you all kinds of plugins to change your Steam Deck a little. And also all kinds of other performance plugins and, you know, art plugins and everything. And so it's very, very cool. I got that from ETA Prime channel. I watched a video from their channel and it really helped me out. So Decky Loader plugins is a great thing to download on your Steam Deck and it'll help you get started really fast. Now, some other videos that you'll just want to search is the Xbox online app. You can play all your Xbox games. Uh, the PS5 or PS4 remote app, check that out. You'll be able to play 
and tap into, uh, it doesn't work as good uh, as the interface, of course, the Steam Deck or with Steam, but you'll still be able to play them if you have good internet uh, or good Wi-Fi, those types of things in your house and you play it close to it, uh, you'll get some decent results and you'll be able to play your favorite PS5 games and Xbox games. Uh, of course, you can still get Epic on this as well, and I have Epic in there as well. Uh, so check out some videos on that. Transferring information from SD cards and those things. I actually have a video on that, so check out my channel, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. Check and just search Steam Deck. And then, you know, just going from that Linux base system, and we're still talking, and, and these aren't negatives, like I said, per se, but I'm just saying it's negatives that you're going to have to do a lot of research uh, and watch some videos to be able to get everything you want done on the Steam Deck. But those are great videos, so it's all positivity. Those are all great videos to watch to help you get going. Um, but a kind of a negative, in my opinion, is just going from Windows to Linux. It was a big transition for me, so it's a lot of learning curve. And we're still not getting all the games that we want to play on the Steam Deck yet. And so we're still... Uh, we've been into the Steam Deck for almost three years now, and we're still missing games uh, that we want to play on the Steam Deck. Uh, you can change your Steam Deck to a Windows-type program, but that's something I would not recommend it because it's, it's you know, there's other... If you want to get into Windows, grab a 1X player, grab a GPD, uh, AO Neo. There's some other ones coming out now. Uh, and just leave the, the, the Steam Deck for your Steam games and for some other applications that you can do with it. So there's a lot more that you can do with it than you could before. So it's really hitting a lot of uh, great spots right now, but it's still just lacking in the game department with not being able to play some of the old games that you wish you could play on it. That's kind of the biggest negative in my opinion is just that it's still lacking for games, uh, but it's always coming up and always getting better. So that's why I, I kind of like the Steam Deck and you know, I'm, I'm, I tend to float to it a little bit more because of battery life and because of uh you know how good it's getting at being able to play more and more and more games so i do like the steam deck i'm definitely going to hold on to it i do like the upgrades that they have put in this model that we talked about everything the screen looks fantastic it is definitely uh, something i would do is go ahead and transition to the oled if you can but like i said if you just want to get a steam deck just remember it ebay uh check the steam uh website to see if they might sell a refurbished model uh, you're going to be able to find an influx of a lot of people selling their lcd lcd models to upgrade to the oled so you're going to be able to get a steam deck at a great price and i'm not going to stop you from doing that do it if you want to just get into uh learning about steam deck uh, learning how to get everything done and all that kind of stuff it's a great place to start and you're going to get it at a great price but if you can afford to get into the oled i definitely would tell you it's a big jump uh, with that screen and performance. Even though it's supposed to have the correct performance, it, you can just, it's a little bit snappier. It looks fantastic and things like that. So I would upgrade to the OLED if you can, but you're going to have a great opportunity to get a Steam Deck at a great price uh, with all these used ones that will probably be coming out as well. I'm going to try to put as many links in this video as possible. So check out that all those in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in to DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. Uh, like I said, if this was helpful at all, please give me a like or subscribe, share those types of things. And thank you so much uh, for staying this long, going a little bit long today. So stay tuned for my next video coming really soon. I got all kinds of stuff and we'll get going with this 2024. And I got a lot of videos for you this year. So thank you so much. Catch you really, really soon on my next video.